Hello and welcome to Star 6, 7 After Dark. My name is Erica. And my name is Malaysia. And this is where we say the shit that others won't. And this is num- Are you okay? Episode number 7. <laughs> what were we gonna do? <laughs> I was gonna flip it. Don't fucking judge me. No, I, it's okay because that's why I paused right before I said my name because I forgot what the fuck my name was for a second. So it's <laughs> all good. Just wild. So, I'm sipping on a Smirnoff. You know what? I was th- thinking we should stop promoting these fucking companies for Until free. they start paying us. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just going to say I'm sipping. I mean, I already told you, but I'm sipping today. You didn't say what, though. But I said, I did say the name. Yeah, but they don't know what exactly True. from S- Smirnoff. They have multiple products that they offer. True. So, yes. Uh, <coughs> I just choked. <laughs> Anyways. How have you been? I don't know. <laughs> I've been happy. I know, I've seen. But, like, I don't know why, because I still don't have a fucking job. I don't be doing shit. We should do a series. Erica's Job Chronicles. I mean... We're gonna give you weekly updates until we find out what's gonna happen. Dun, dun, dun. Well, this is the thing, and I was telling Malaysia this earlier, like, I stopped fucking looking for jobs. Because I just don't feel the need to. I don't know why I don't feel the need to, but I don't feel the need to. You Okay. Yeah, I let that sit, and it's getting warm, and like... Oh, uh, go get some ice, or... No, I'm good. I'll okay. just chug it. I, sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's wild, and I'm happy. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not stressed. I feel a level of calm. I feel like I'm wasting time, because I'm not doing shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been promoting the podcast, but that's it. Is it because you feel like you have so much time right now? Like, you could be doing a like lot. Like, so much shit? Yeah. I'm like, damn, I could just go Excuse get me. a job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the obvious. But um, I just haven't felt the, excuse me, fucking need to. I'm sorry, this shit is giving me the burps. It's okay. I just haven't felt the fucking need to. Yeah. Uh, the universe is sending me some crazy signs right now. I'm not really sure what to make of it. I'm, I've been telling him, I, I, I see the signs you send to me, but can you make them more clear, please? Because mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, oh my god. One of the, dude, I was, one of the fucking tarot cards I was listening to literally said, like, oh, you, you're just allowing the universe to do its thing. Like, you're trust, you're putting all your trust into the universe. Yeah. You're not like, trying to, like, take control. And, like, yeah, which is, because if you know me. <laughs> I like to be in control of everything mm-hmm. and micromanage the fuck out of some shit. Baby boss. I, you know, <laughs> that's why she they, she calls us that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, how have you been? I've been good. I've been, I was a little overwhelmed, not going to lie, this past week, just with like, between working and like, it was just so much going on, and I've been, really? like, really, yeah, I've been really stressed and getting really frustrated and, like, easily yeah. aggravated, but, however, I have been doing a really good job at trying to control those emotions and not letting them dictate the outcome of certain situations, Okay. and I've been being a lot more positive, which I'm proud of myself, because I could have easily, like, fuck this yeah. yeah and so like i'm proud that i how i've been handling the situations and it's made me realize that it's gonna that's me acting that way is gonna help me get to where i need to be okay you know with like podcast work financial like everything you know i agree because about a mm, i'd say like a year ago maybe so a year and some change mm-hmm. i really like sat down and, like, came within myself and was like, I need to be a more positive person. Mm-hmm. If I catch myself in a negative thought, I need to turn that shit around. And I did that about a year ago, and that's, it, it makes a big-ass difference. Yeah. And I think that's why I'm, like, a definitely a, a better, more positive person. Yeah. Because, but I also believe in, like, manifesting hella tough, because, oh, like, yeah. I can see that shit. Like, let me, it's a stupid example, but let me tell you an example. When I was younger, I said I want to be 5'7". I thought that was, like, the perfect height. Yeah. So I was like, I want to be five seven and no taller. Now I'm five seven, and I wish I was shorter. So, <laughs> but there's you, that. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh my god, I want big boobs. Like, got big ass titties. So. Out of nowhere too, because like, I was like really like I had no. I used to stuff my bra for like a long ass time. Yeah. And then now they overflowing. 
like I'm just like okay so you know what I mean that, that's a stupid example but no but every time that we're out sorry to like steer off track a little it's so fucking funny because we'll be like oh there's a titty there's a nipple ring like and you're just like oh <laughs> Let yeah. me fix it real quick. <laughs> like my boobs don't ever like they don't want to fucking stay in their fucking case. Like this. But I'm so down. used to it now. I'm just like I know, it's sad. I think everyone is used to it. I don't like, care. It doesn't bother me. Like it's not like well, boobs in general, nipples in general, I should say, they don't bother me. So yeah. if it comes out I'm sort of like I'll re- like I can sort of sense like if the person might feel a little uncomfortable, but with yeah. you, you're so just like who gives a fuck? Like, I mean, listen. You act like you ain't never seen titties I'm pretty before. sure everyone has seen my nipple at this point because mm-hmm. they're always popping out. Uh, fucking. But you got cute nipples too, so. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. But no, like, to the point where people don't even fucking tell me anymore. And that's bad. Because <laughs> they already know. Because like, they were telling me, like, oh, yeah, your boob, your whole boob was out mm-hmm. during this event. Mm-hmm. And he, and the guy was like, yeah, I had to come and tell you. And I was like, how long was it out? And he's like, it was out for a minute. And you were standing in front of everyone talking. I was like, so no one wanted to fucking <laughs> tell me? Like, and I was drunk, so I really was like, yeah. it was probably hot. And I was like, ooh, an extra breeze. It came out of nowhere. And it was, that was probably when my fucking boob flopped out. Oh, my God. Just That's funny. A mess. What were we talking Oh, but anyways, yeah, so. Changing your 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 way of thinking like is such a big thing. Like yeah. I'm so adamant about it because when I finally did it, like the outcome of my life definitely started yeah. to change. It was like weight lifted, huh? And I guess maybe that's how I am now, right now. Like I do genuinely deep in my soul. Mm-hmm. Like it makes me, like I I get over. I that's what I've been doing. I've been getting overwhelmed a lot lately, mm-hmm. and like overjoyed because I just feel this like big positive thing is coming. Mm-hmm. To the point where, like, I'll cry. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like, wow. it's just, like, I, like, I feel it in my soul. Mm-hmm. Like, it, this is some crazy shit, like, I yeah. never experienced. Like, it literally makes me emotional because I'm just, like, I'm crying because I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm, like, dude, I, and it hasn't even happened yet, yeah. but, like, I just fucking like, know this know. shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know what's weird? Like, I don't, I don't feel it in that sense, but, like, how can I say it? I see myself in the very near, near future, future. like close, yeah. being very financially stable to where like everything is just sort of like no money problems. Mm-mm. Like I could just like, and it's so weird because you would think, especially like, and I don't know if it's cause I'm paying off my debt and I see that like going away. So like that also feels good, but like it, it in a weird way, it doesn't feel like it's tied to that at all. Like, it feels like it's something different, and, like, I just feel like I'm not going to have to worry. And it, But it's not to the extent where, like, I'm like, you know, but yeah. I'm just like, why the fuck do I feel like this? Like, am I being unrealistic, you know? But then I want to be positive and not put those negative thoughts in my head. That's exactly how the fuck I am right now. That literally yeah. exactly <laughs> what the fuck you just said. That yeah. is exactly how I've been to the point where... But it's like, I'm like, all right, I'm really trusting the universe. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay... The universe got rid of this job for me, mm-hmm. so that way I had no ties to anything, and I was I would be free to trend to easily transition into mm-hmm. this next stage of life. So that's why I'm that's the the because the reason why I got fired we as we've established is bullshit. Yeah. So I'm just thinking the universe was like you know what we're you were there the universe is prepping me for this. Or I'm in transition, mm-hmm. so the universe is prepping me for this new like journey, journey yeah. lifestyle everything yeah because as we're talking like you know with me and you we don't have good con we have a good concept of money but we don't have a a small-minded concept to money no and so, you would think that we fucking would given yeah, like it's this, not like we were born into fan like families no. with a lot of money well i've been on welfare i've been yeah i mean it's weird though because i've always had family members that made six figures and I would see how they lived and like so I I knew that but I've never personally experienced yeah so like I've always known what luxury things are not by what's on tv but because I've seen people have it so like as we're talking we had this conversation last week like a million dollars isn't a lot of money no and that's what's fucking bad is like you would think being in like Growing up in our childhood, we'd be like, oh, if I had a million dollars, like, I'd yeah. be set. But, like, to me, that's n- that's not my goal at all. Like, I need 300 million, and I'll be satisfied. Yeah. Like, that, and that's fuck. But it, I'm just like, okay. But even as a little kid, people used to tell me, oh, like, once you get a job and pay bills, you'll start to learn the value of money. Guess what? I'm my, it the just way, made it worse. So, exactly. The way, <laughs> yeah. The way I was when I was little, like, yeah. 
I, it's even worse now. So I just think that, like, you know, the whole, my whole life is preparation for this next thing that's coming. And you know, it's weird. I've been wanting to start purchasing a lot of higher end artworks and like yes. sculptures. I've been into interior design lately. Me too, dude. Tom. Yes. Oh my god. I'm always looking on Instagram. Sorry, I just YouTube. got really excited because, like, I feel like I'm fucking crazy sometimes. But I, what I tell you, you will feel like the least crazy person <laughs> around me. Okay, you will feel sane around yes. me because I'm fucking. I'll be out there sometimes. And like, especially with my job. I have to, you know, I have to be careful with what I say, but, like, I've been in the Foothills area a lot recently with work, uh-huh. and, like, um, I was there last night, and I was just thinking, like, I know I would always be like, oh, this bitch is bougie, like, la 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 Me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, because I remember when I had first met you, you were saying, like, you were looking at houses in the Foothills area, so, yeah. like, I had the chance to actually be out there and, like, yeah. see what it was about, and, like... It's I've, nice, but it's really not, like... Grand. No, but like I've I've been like um I've always been about like downtown artsy scene and all yeah, that and I yeah, still yeah. am but I see myself drifting more towards like Yeah. Does that make like Paradise Valley, Scottsdale, yeah. mm-hmm. like more like in that area, but yeah. still trying to keep like the same <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if I'm making no, sense, no, no. but I, it's I like weird. You. Like that I'm like because I've always been like, Oh, if I live downtown I'm gonna be very minimalist and like Yeah not eat, spend a lot of money but now i'm like oh, so yeah that doesn't seem like what i want like so that's not what i want what's crazy is so there there's only i look at places downtown but the places i look at downtown are like condos not same and like uh lofts and shit yeah but i'm like that's for a single yeah. person and i don't plan on being a single person yeah. forever so like that whole like loft vibes that shit's cool but like not forever yeah so in the houses, like, this is a part of my manifesting. I started this shit fucking, oh my God, years ago. Because I think it was in my first car, mm-hmm. that for the car I just showed you. Yeah. I used to drive over there. Yeah, it was in the first, fuck, that's crazy. That was in that first car that I ever had, which was a 97 Honda Accord, beat up, whatever. <laughs> um, bought it for like two grand or some shit when I was in high school. So I used I used to drive or I still do. Mm-hmm. Whenever I need to like clear my mind, I drive through the foothills and just manifest. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is where I'm meant to be. Mm-hmm. This is what I want to work towards. And I was like, I want a new car. I want a house over here. And then you know I've I've gotten new cars and you know what I mean. So I'm like, what's next? Yeah. A house, you know. Yeah. And I just I've always moved closer and closer to the foothills. Slowly but surely, it's like you're getting there. Closer, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I've lived three. This is the third place I lived in Ahwatukee. Oh, okay. And each one is closer and closer yeah. to the foothills. So that's just kind of... But I have been looking at houses in Paradise Valley, Scottsdale, too. Yeah. And they're beautiful. They're everything. But it's just so far to me. Yeah. Where that's why I like the foothills. Because it's secluded. But, but like, so everything is to, right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I, I kind of, like, have Ahwatukee, like, That set, makes sense. You know what I mean? See, the only place that I would want to move downtown, and I already, like, told Alex and everything, I was like, if we ever move downtown, there's a specific sky rise that I want to live in, mm-hmm. and we need to live on, like, it's a 30-story 30, 30 sky rise, it's called Mink. Mm-hmm. And I've oh, already, I think I've seen that. Yeah, 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 I've looked at, like, the pricing and everything, and I was like, I was like, and I still want to move there at one point. Like, I want to just experience it. Yeah. But I was like, that's the only place I'll move to. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like a brick building. Like, the outside looks like old, like a 1920 style mm-hmm. building, but inside they completely remodeled it. And it's townhouses within this sky rise. Oh, so really? So it's like a two story townhouse uh-huh. within the sky rise, and it's fucking beautiful. beautiful. Well, I was looking, the whole building is on is for sale. Oh, really? At like 20 fucking million dollars. Yeah, I bet. But I was looking at the units within it. Th- mm-hmm. This is how fucking crazy I am. Why the fuck I would look at 20 million dollar oh, real estate? The, is I do that all the time. Beyond me. Yeah. yeah. But I was looking at the, the units within the development or whatever. And <laughs> I was nice. like, it's fucking beautiful. Like a single girl's dream. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. It's elegant. It's beautiful. It's very clean. Yeah. Like, white appliances and like marble it's fucking and it's upstairs downstairs it's amazing dude 
that yes. it's beautiful and it's like maybe i'll just have like a spot but like i feel like you know how people have like the their house in like a spot downtown but arizona is not big enough yeah for, to have, for like la like if you live in calabasas and then have a spot yeah, downtown obviously. that makes sense yeah two hours <laughs> yeah but arizona is like there's no point to yeah. that because i was like oh i'll just have like a house in a spot downtown but it doesn't make sense you know what's weird though even like I want a house, but I don't want the commitment of having a mortgage and all that. Because well, I know even if you have money, like a lot of people, yes, they buy their houses, but they still have some sort of mortgage in their yeah. house just because you want to invest that money into the equity and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's like I, that's what I'm, I'm struggling with because I want a house and I want to have a home, but I like the idea of having like just a loft or a condo or a townhouse I can go to, and like I don't have to worry about that commitment of. Yeah, you know? I feel it. I feel it. You and know, the maintenance of it. Like, I don't want to have to fucking take care of a lawn or worry about it. I, well, even that's paying why someone. You pay. So like, that's why I you pay people. I don't want to have to, like, do that. Do that. Like, just I inconvenient. have a fucked up mentality for my grandmother. She, <laughs> it, it was always like, that's why you pay people to do it. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you know, she had a fucking. She had a person for everything, and she yeah. paid people to do all of it. Yeah. So I guess I have that mentality, too. Like, my mom, she's bugged me to wash my car, and I was like, I'll just pay someone to do it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to fucking do it. I'll yeah. pay someone to do it, which I usually do, but she ended up washing my car yesterday. <laughs> she was like, no. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, I felt bad, because I was yeah. like, that's a lot of work, and I'd, I'd rather just pay someone to do it. Yeah. So I, I get it, because I have that same mindset for cars, mm. because I'm like, yeah, like, it's dope to buy a car, but... I like leasing cars. Yeah. Because one, you can always have the newest edition. Mm -hmm. Two, you can customize lease cars. Yeah. Three, a lot of the times I buy a bundle. Even the one, the one I, the car I have now is not leased, but the one before mm -hmm. was. Um, but you can buy packages where like maintenance and all that shit comes with the package, yeah. so you don't gotta worry about that. Like I never had to pay for an oil change, tires. I never had to pay for that. Yeah. It all came with the car you, oh yeah so that's why because i kind of have that same you know a lot of people front or talk shit like oh your car's lease you didn't buy it i don't really think there's a problem with leasing a car see that's what my dad does and i growing up my mom had always told me oh like your dad doesn't own his cars yeah he drives nice cars but they're not his and that's why i had a bad image of it but yeah. then when like i started talking to you about it and like i even looked into it after you had told me and I was, like, educating myself on it. And I was, like, it makes sense. Especially, like, if you plan on traveling a lot. Like, why purchase a car that you're not even going to really use? Like, yeah. if you only need it for when you're in town, like, mm -hmm. you know? Or if you don't even like to drive that much. You yeah. know, if you take a lot of Ubers or Lyfts. Like, you want it more so for just special occasions. Like, yeah. Or even if you just don't want that fucking commitment if you're not sure if you want this car. You know, yeah, like, exactly. long term. Like, the only cars I would buy would be, like, classic cars. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's that, it's an investment. Yeah, that helps, hold value. Yeah. But new cars, I really don't think there's a, any point to buying a new car. Mm -hmm. Like, I would just lease it. Yeah. Especially me, I plan on having fucking three, four cars. So <laughs> fuck. I, I'll and it's cheaper. Like, the monthly payment um, normally. Some, it cheaper. depends. It yeah. depends, yeah. But that's why, that's just me. Yeah. I don't think there's a problem with leasing cars. Yeah. I think it's dope because you can, it's like the new iPhone. Trade that bitch and get a new one. That's how. My, I, I lease all my phones. And you can, um, I do that too. I lease my phone too. Yeah. Um, but you, when you lease a car, you can choose how long you want to lease it for, correct? Mm -hmm. and Typically, like, yeah. And when that time comes, you can, I know they have the you option to buy, buy it, it or if you want to just trade it and lease another one. Exactly. Okay. And same thing with the iPhones. That's how I always have the newest iPhone. Cause that's I lease them, about doing and things. that's what I did. I just I Trade went, it in. gave them my old phone, got the new phone. Yeah. And I'm, there's no thing wrong. If shit, if they could do that, and but if you know, with me, like we're talking, like it's always the newest technology. I'm a technology junkie. Yeah. So same thing with cars. I want the newest technology. Same thing with phones. I want the newest technology. Shit, if they could lease laptops, <laughs> bitch, I would do that too. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, but I did get an iPad, and I'm well. I only paid. We're gonna be leasing it for four fifty, but I'm gonna just pay it off because I don't feel like having a bill for it yeah. especially if i could just pay the 450 they were trying like, to get me to get one and it was like 25 if the ipad was free yeah but the service on it was 25 a month yeah that's what we were 20 a month so but i was like i have a macbook i have fucking two iphones yeah. i don't need an ipad yeah so i was like nah well i got it for the baby but i want to go back and get what service do you have verizon oh okay um i want to get the ipad pro just because Bigger one. 
you could draw. And oh. for Alex, like, yeah. I know he doesn't listen to this, so I'm good, but oh. I want to get it for his birthday because, like, I feel like it'd be perfect What's his for birthday? him. May 22nd. Oh. My little Gemini. Good luck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, he's a Gemini Taurus cusp, oh, so it's, okay. it balances it out. Okay. But it sucks when, uh, like, I'm more in my Capricorn and he's Gemini because we fucking clash. But really? when it, when I'm, like, my Taurus and, like, or when he's his Taurus and I'm, like, my more Aquarius. Yeah. yeah. You're a cusp, too. Huh? Yeah, I'm an uh, Aquarius Capricorn cusp. I think that would be difficult because I feel like you'd be a I feel bipolar. Exactly. I know I'm not bipolar. I and am. I'm not saying I think it. I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm not saying it because I know people tend to like try and clock you and be like, oh, you're making fun of bipolar disorder. And it's like, no, I'm not saying that I'm literally bipolar. I'm just saying that I fucking oh, ch- change. Feel. Yes, yeah. because I can no, feel I'm like bipolar. my energy shifting. And like my aunt used to tell me she thinks I have like borderline personality disorder, mm-hmm. which I probably do. I know I have anxiety. I know I have depression. Oh, yeah, I have hella bad anxiety. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my God. And. <laughs> it's it's at a it's a constant <laughs> fucking struggle all the time with myself. Let me just tell you, it is it is bad. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Um, I wanted to discuss our title because yeah. we've never actually talked about our title. So it's obviously Star Six Seven After Dark. Mm-hmm. So for people who I'm like, dude, I've been explaining this to people who are older than me. So I'm like, I thought you would know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Star Six Seven. So, like, back in the day, shit, I still star 6-7 people to this day. Last time I did it was yesterday. See, I just fucking deny everything. I don't like having to talk over the phone if I don't have to. Well, so, like, star 6-7 is, like, if you want to block your number. So, like, say your man ain't picking up your calls or whatever. It says un- unavailable or, or, like, unknown. ID. Yeah. So it blocks your number so that way the person you're calling can't see the, your number. Or they can't star 6ix9ine you and call you back and figure out who the fuck called Can them. you still star 6ix9ine? Okay, that was blocked. only on landline. No, no, no. I mean, like, today. Can you oh, star 6ix9ine I people? don't know. Because I know star 6ix9ine was only for, like, landline. Call me and let's try it. Okay, we're <laughs> Live demo. <laughs> let's see if it works. But, yeah, because landline's... But I feel like it won't work because we have caller ID. That ha- that star six nine was when caller ID didn't exist. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So just. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. No, no it doesn't work. work. Okay. But so star it's six, landlines. Only landlines. But okay. star six seven does still work. So Sold today. <laughs> so to this day, landline, <laughs> iPhone, whatever. So like if you. Star six seven, and then the number you're calling, your number appears blocked to the person you're calling. Mm-hmm. And then after dark, because it explains it's gonna be explicit. Yeah, exactly. After yeah. dark means explicit. So yeah. it's just kind of cool, something different, I guess. It's fun. Yeah, I just um, like I said, I still use star six seven. But you gonna make me start using it now. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't. I, like, the only reason I used it yesterday is because. So I have a fake number as well. It's just a lot, okay? She got a burner number. (laughs) Yeah, I got a burner number because, you know... There's reasons. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'd be doing some other stuff and people can't have my real number. So (laughs) that that fake number wasn't working. So I had to call for my real number, but I didn't want them to have my real phone number. So I had to star six, seven, and then, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was funny because they're like, damn, like, your phone is so much clearer. Like, the quality, <laughs> damn, I'm really glad you got a new phone. And I was like, hey, you If only you knew. <laughs> yeah. Because I, like, the, yeah. So, both takes a drink. <laughs> tea. The tea. But, um, dude, yeah, I've had that fucking fake burner number for, like, some years, too. Yeah? Yeah, we... We gotta talk about that in an episode. Yeah, that's interesting. I've only ever used the texting apps, the fake it is, texting apps. It is a texting app. Oh, it is? But, but you, you can could call. call. Okay. Yeah. Um, which I was like, I was, I always wanted to know, like, if it, because there's some of them, if you call, mm-hmm. like, if you don't answer, it'll say, oh, thank you for using the text now solutions or something mm-hmm. like that. And I wonder if mine does that, but I don't know. But anyways, um, once it gets fixed, what we'll do is you'll call me from it, and then I'll. Jump. No, it's it didn't. It's not. It, it ran out of minutes. 
No, we'll download a different app or whatever you have to do, and we'll try it live. No, I have it. Oh. I still have it. Oh. But the thing is... Do you have to pay to add minutes, or...? I've never before, but I've been taking a lot of calls lately, so, (laughs) shit. I've had to... (laughs) They're like, hold up, bitch. You're using us to Minutes remaining, zero. Oh, fuck. Which, it's not bad. It's like $1.99 for 100 minutes. So, well over an hour. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, let's try it one of these days. Yeah, I think I'm a, or you can like watch a video or some shit. And it adds to your banking balance, like Yeah, like you minutes. get whatever. So anyways. But that's um why our title is our title. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I just think it's something and it's like also kind of like a like a retro even our, our sign is a little like throwback, like nineties yeah. retro type. It's cute as fuck. It is. Oh, by the way, we will be um uploading <laughs> our first YouTube video. By the time you guys hear this, it will already be up, but it will be next week, so um it'll October. be October, like the beginning week of October. So um if you are listening to this currently, just go on our YouTube channel and look up the vlog so you guys can watch it and then we'll be continuously uploading the podcast and the vlogs as well and some some other shit we do another uh, uh, video ideas and we will vlogs. be linking our personal youtube channels as well so that way you guys can follow that if you want to see just more one-on-one type shit yeah because uh we're like i have some ideas for myself yes same so yeah it'll be dope yeah, so stay tuned. We have a lot of shit coming. I know we keep saying stay tuned, but this shit is a process. Like, I give props to all the fucking people that have this as a full-time career, which this will be soon. But soon. it's like, it is a fucking investment that you're making, and it's Hell very yeah. time-consuming and very, like, you have to be patient, so. Hell yeah. Just be patient. We love you. So, <laughs> I found out. Yes. I have a new addiction. Well, it's not new, but I've always had this addiction, but I just finally found out what the fuck it is. Yes. So I have, like, an addiction to oral asphyxiation. You like shit in your mouth? Yeah. Like, different objects or just... So, like, people who smoke, sometimes they're addicted to the nicotine, but sometimes they're addicted to that, like, oral asphyxiation. The motion of, like... Yeah, like, put, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, because I noticed I chew gum a lot. Mm Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And what else was it? Oh, and then, like, when I do start to smoke, I'll get, like, addicted and, like, I'm always having to smoke because I, it's just, but it's just, like, I'm always needing something in my mouth. Oh, okay. But then I can, like, I can quit it. You know uh-huh. what I mean? So it's only when you, like. When I start. Yeah. And then. When I you catch yourself and then you're sort of, like, wait, like. Yeah, and then I, like, stop. Mm-hmm. But, um, because I've been having some, like, addictive, like with smoking uh-huh. again so see i don't i don't really know too much i just know it has something to do with always wanting something like in your mouth in your mouth yeah, yeah. so like i i do notice like i chew gum a lot because mm-hmm. it's like i need to maybe that's why i talk so fucking much like i just don't just need my mouth mm-hmm. to be moving, moving or something yeah that would make sense yeah or i'm just like annoying and fucking talk too much i don't know could be <laughs> one or the one. other <laughs> but yeah i just have that like oral asphyxiation like i i've learned Mm -hmm. which is wild i i thought there was like something else but i don't really remember to like why i i came up with that i think it was just like because i started smoking again recently Mm -hmm. and (coughs) did did you see that video i posted where i was like space cadet high i found that video on my phone no, okay, so I was I watched it but I'm fucking silent because Art was taking a nap. Oh. So I need to go back and rewatch it if it's still up because I think it is. I re I seen your thing and you're like, this shit is so funny or like whatever you said and I was like, I need to see this. Yeah, it was crazy. Sorry, Space just... Cadet High. <laughs> okay. Girl. As we're on the subject of that, I don't think I talked about this or maybe I did, I don't know. I might be repeating myself. But I took an edible when um this was a couple weeks back okay and it was 30 milligrams so it was 25 percent you're um, crazy thc and then it said five percent like just weed so i don't know if they put like actual like weed you know nugs in it so um i took it and it was little so i took the whole thing it was like that big like mm-hmm. it wasn't anything crazy it was super good too like you could was it like a cookie or yeah it was a cookie okay. and i drank almond milk with it <laughs> no i drank the ripple milk which is way better. Ripple. It's pea milk. It's what? made from peas. 
Is it's, it green? No, but it's super bomb. It's it's my number one milk alternative right now, and it's has a lot of protein, so it's good. I don't need to try that. One. Yeah, I don't know. They have it at Target, either. and it's three ninety nine right now. So pea milk. Yeah, it sounds funky. Obviously, yeah. it's not fucking piss, but um, well. <laughs> it's yeah. just because you know with almond milk, like they're saying it's really bad for the environment because Is like it? yeah, Why? like um. The whole, like, growing of the almonds almonds and, like, how rapidly they're trying to produce them. Like, it's bad for, like, global warming and all that. So they're saying, yeah, they're saying to drink other alternatives if you can. So that's my favorite right now. I'll try that. Because I know, like, coconut milk and, like, cashew milk, they're too thick. Oh, okay. I noticed. And silk, or, like, not silk, um, skim. Hemp milk? Hemp? Yeah. No. That shit's fire. Try that. And then I know, what's the fucking one? Uh, soy. It's like watery. Yeah. And like soy's not good for you. No, it's not. But I honestly don't like have any milk. Like, cause I don't, I don't eat cereal or uh, anything. So like, I don't really have a, a need for it. Every once in a while I'll buy almond milk. But like. Yeah. Well, I like to put the ripple in like smoothies and whatnot. It's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is it like thick or is it the same like consistency of regular? It can be on the more thicker side. Okay. But it's not to where when you eat it, like you don't taste the thickness. Like when you pour it, you can see that it's a little bit thicker. Oh. Uh, okay. But once you start to drink it, it tastes like regular. Like. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not bad. But um, so I took the edible, and I was sitting there, and I was like, well, maybe it won't kick in. It, like, the baby was already going down for the night, so I was like, cool. Like I'm just gonna chill, you know, relax. Mm-hmm. Bitch. When I tell you, I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> Really? I was like, oh, fuck. I went into the bathroom because I was like, am I that high right now? Like, yeah. am I really that high? Uh-huh. My eyes were so fucking red. Fuck. I was so fucked up. Like, wow. when I tell you I haven't been that high, like, I've never been that high. Like, I was analyzing everything. Fuck. But, like, it wasn't to the extent where I was, like, freaking out. Because you know how sometimes you... You start to like freak out because you're like, oh I only god. did that on one edible and I've never had them motherfuckers <laughs> again. I swear to God. But like, I would, I would do it again. That's why, like, yeah. I had a good experience, but I was like, I was faded as fuck. That's why the edibles we have, dude, they make us fucking hallucinate. That's scary. No, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what's funny is you say that, but you're like, I don't think I could ever do, like, shrooms or yeah, acid. Fuck no. But you're over... <laughs> like, yeah, it's fun. Like, yeah, because, off like... Edibles. It's, because, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just... It's fun. But, like, I haven't been smoking weed, by the way. I've been smoking other shit. Yeah. I haven't been smoking I've weed been, either. Dude, I haven't smoked weed in, like... I smoked weed in, like... two months. And I smoked weed in like a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> a week and a half? No, I just haven't smoked weed in like two months, but I've been talking about like I've been smoking other shit. Not cigarettes. No, I'm but... fucking lying. I smoke after I get out of work. <laughs> oh, this girl. Uh, no, but, but like I, I want to do tolerance breaks because I know it's like I get, I start to smoke like a, a lot, lot. And yeah. I'm like, I don't want to feel like I constantly need a smoke to maintain that high that I want to be at yeah. and so I'm like let me just chill for a little so that way I can go I back feel to it though because yeah. I've definitely been like that where I was like damn like you, you having to smoke some some shit yeah like, that's how people go <sighs> and like I like to smoke the the um cartridges because it's convenient being a mom and whatnot so like it's cool when you got to take, like, three hits, four hits, and you're good. But when it comes to where you're, like, legit hitting it, like, if it's a blunt and you're just, like... Damn. Yeah, that's where I'm, like, okay, let me chill. Like, I'm gonna... Put this down now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I really want to take... I... So, tomorrow, mm-hmm. my cousin's having a party for her other kid. Which seems like her parties are notorious. <laughs> yeah, like kids birthday parties in general over there, just always some shit. Or just any parties over there in general. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, so I don't know. It depends on how the night goes tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You might take one. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't know. It depends. On, I I'm just so anxious, and I I don't want to hype it up. Yeah. Or get too hyped. Yeah. You know what I mean for tomorrow, but. I mean, I'm gonna have a good time either way, but I just like, I don't know what the vibe's gonna be. Yeah. I don't know who's gonna be there. 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I'm going to react. Like, I just don't know what the fuck is going to go on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm, like, fucking anxiety, dude. I get, I'm having, like, anxiety a little bit. Like, I wasn't, but now, like, thinking about it, I was like, damn, I'm starting to have a little bit of anxiety. Yeah, as, like, it gets closer and Especially because, like, tomorrow's, like, a, cosmically, like, it's a super new moon, and fucking my tarot cards are saying some wild-ass <laughs> shit, you feel me? And I'm just like, yeah. Uh. Breaking news, Erica has been <laughs> processed downtown. Hell no. For what? <laughs> For what? I don't even want to think about the possibilities of how really that title. Like so many fucking possibilities. <laughs> yeah. Like it could be beating somebody's ass, like a couple people. Like it could somebody be for on fire. Sons. Like um <laughs> like just like a lot. I hate that arson just popped up in my head so arson? quick. Yes, and I was like, fuck. And I didn't just say lighting yeah. someone on fire. Like, you know, there it's a birthday, there's gonna be candles, flames. <laughs> Anything can happen, let's just say that. Yeah, so I'm just so fucking sad they're not getting a bounce house. And I told Aww, my fucking cousin, why? and I was like, dude, I would have gave you the money. And yeah. she was like, I'm not trying to take your money. And I was like, bruh, it's for my entertainment. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Dude, so, that makes me bummed. I know. Bounce houses are fun. I had one at my baby shower, and we usually have one every Those fucking are lit as fuck. Every Especially birthday. When, like, the kids are gone and like asleep and like it's just the adults like yes even you, being I have pregnant a lot I was of like videos. having so much fun watching everyone I have a lot of videos of us just drunk as fuck in bounce houses and it's yeah. just us adults and it's the best time ever yeah I have gotten a bounce house drunk never mind yeah I was in high school but I was definitely fucked up and it was during the winter time so oh, yeah, it was even best. more fun well so the last party she had there was a bounce house and that bounce house, ooh, that bounce house saw some action. Because <laughs> from my understanding, it wasn't me, bitch. Oh, what's from that? my no, from my understanding, there's somebody up in there straddling somebody. They was making out and you were know, they? They weren't. No, they weren't having sexual relations. Mm-hmm. But you know, damn near borderline. And the thing is, <laughs> the girl was my friend. <laughs> I was the one who brought her there. Aww. she was on straddling some guy that I know Uh and they was in there by themselves and I was like "Ooh, I was doing my own thing so I was like let her do her okay did she um well you're not saying names so I guess you could sort of say did she end up hooking up with them she's a virgin still oh okay so that's cool I I respect that dude she's one of two friends of mine that are virgins and I tell Mm -hmm. them both the same thing I tell them sex is overrated it's overrated. I. This it is, is, but when you have really good sex, it's just. It like, is no. It's it's great. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm, but I'm saying like, if I knew what sex is now, like I probably would have waited longer. Oh fuck yeah! Like, if I could wait until like okay, if I would have known losing my virginity, especially how I did, like I would have totally waited until like Alex came in the picture because I would have been like, I think no, but I think I would have been way more freakier. I think it would have expanded into a whole nother level. Really? Yeah, just because, like, Alex is already very, like, he likes his shit. Yeah. And then, like, I like my shit. So, like, if I would have met him and, like, he exposed me to that stuff, like, I, yeah, it would have been bad. (laughs) I don't don't know. I don't know if there's, like, any one person, like, currently I would have loved to wait for. Mm -hmm. I feel like the experiences I've had were needed. Mm Mm-hmm. But I definitely would have waited a lot longer because, well, even when I had sex the first time, I didn't have sex again for maybe like a year or two after. Because, yeah, after I lost my virginity, because uh-huh. I was like, at yeah. first I was like, yeah. what the fuck is, I don't get the hype. Yeah. Then I had sex with somebody else, and I was like, oh, I understand. It makes sense, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I tell yeah. them both, like, sex is overrated, like, you could wait, it's really, it's nothing. It's cool, though, when you do find someone who's on that same page as Level, you. Yeah, 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 just because, Nobody's like, for sure, yeah. I was, like, especially on Twitter, you always see those things of, like, people, like, constantly commenting on what other kinks people have, mm-hmm. and it's just, like, not every kink is gonna be for you, but when you have that person that has the same kinks that you like have, it's, like... I feel like I have really, like, vanilla kinks. I do, too, but to an extent... No, mm. Like, there's some people who like some wild shit. Oh, yeah. 
No, there's some stuff where I'm sort of like, and I don't hate on it, but I yeah, just, not at all. I might try, but yeah, I feel like I'm not like, I won't be ready for that until I'm older. Cause some Same. of that stuff is like, just very like. You gotta be comfortable with, yeah. with yourself and with, with yourself. your partner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, I don't hate on it, but there's a lot of stuff I'm like, I might try that in the future, but currently, no. Like, it doesn't yeah. intrigue me to that extent where I'm like, let me try that. Well, I used to think, like, my kinks were, like, wild and mm-hmm. out there until I, like, really learned about some shit. And I was like, okay, I'm, like, vanilla. Yeah. Like, for real. No, I'll say I'm vanilla, but I do, like, there's I some hate, stuff that I, I really do, like. vanilla. Because, like, I love vanilla. Like, my favorite ice cream is vanilla. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't even really, I don't even like chocolate ice cream. Yeah. But, like, you know, people are like, oh, that's vanilla. But, I, shit, vanilla's popping to me, hey, so. how I see it, if you are able to achieve orgasm and you and your partner are both satisfied at the end, then what the fuck matters? Exactly. What you choose to do to achieve that as long as it's consensual yes and my thing is i feel like a lot of people now that a lot of like um sex uh like sexual stuff is coming to light and people are more comfortable talking about it now they're trying to shame a lot of people from what they like and it's like okay but you're sort of doing the same thing that people have done to you so it's like people are gonna like what they like not everyone is is gonna be into like crazy shit and you need to understand that but this shit like. a lot of this shit's been around for forever. It's yeah. just because social media is it is exposing yeah. this shit. But like people have um like golden showers. Yeah. I'm sure bitches was doing that in the eighteen oh, hundreds. Yes. You know what I mean? Way before then. Yeah. So <laughs> that is nothing new. Yeah, but like I'm, that was just an example. I've never done it or yeah, given received it, it yeah. received or nothing. Yeah. But you know, that to a lot of people that's quote vanilla yeah you know what i mean oh yeah yeah like there's some other shit i didn't see you know but ooh yeah that ain't for me but good for you boo i just like it's just weird well maybe there's like i notice all nowadays there's like people feel the need to hate to feel like what do they say um like oh, I'm cool, or, like, I'm, like, I'm hip, and I'm current, and I'm running with the cool crowd, and it's like, okay, just because you're hating on what someone else likes doesn't fucking make you look cool, or make you sound edgy, or whatever the fuck you're ach- wanting Isn't to achieve. is hate, like, fear and lack of no- knowledge? That's what hate is. Wouldn't doubt it. Like, a lack of knowledge. I think. Or fear, or some shit like let that. Let me look it up. I mean, because, like, you know, when you don't know fully know about something is quick to be hated or dismiss mm-hmm. it you know what i mean and i also feel um a lot of people how can i say this i lost my train of thought like um they do that because i feel like it would be it's because lack of knowledge because they personally they want, like online it's so easy to say oh this is what i'm into and i do this and i do that but really like probably don't even fucking do half of this shit Mm -hmm. unless you're posting videos of you actually like doing what yeah the like and maybe that could be that could sound very ignorant of me to even say that but it's just sort of like i feel like a lot of people just hate because one they are not educated on the topic Mm -hmm. two they are like they want to fit this mainstream society of what people is, think it's cool, you know? And I, I can even take that a step further. So I was watching, um, so Ch- Chelsea Handler did a documentary on... I fucking, yes. Did you watch it? Yes. On watch, Netflix? Yeah, Netflix. Um, about white privilege. Yeah. Did you watch that one? Mm-hmm, I watched it. So there was mixed reviews about it because people were saying, like, Towards the end of the documentary, she was trying to prove her blackness because she dated that black guy. I felt like it was her going back to her younger years and just acknowledging where exactly. it, where she sort of started from, you know, exactly. and how it continued to and like, progress. And I think she's adding a personal element. Yeah, of her own personal, like, what she's yeah. done with her privilege and how she's used it to her and advantage. due to her lack of knowledge, she mm-hmm. wasn't aware that her herself was benefiting from white privilege. Mm-hmm. I, yes, I believe white privilege is definitely a thing. Oh, yeah. For me, it's tricky because if you couldn't tell now, by now, I tend to date a lot of white guys mm-hmm. or have involvements, whatever. For me, I, I always thought, like, I've never had that conversation with any of them. Mm-hmm. 
but like for me it's like if we were to have kids like having to have that talk with them like you know your kid is going to have black in them and Mm -hmm. you have to be aware of how society is towards black people like yeah you can have friends or whatever but you have to really like understand it Mm -hmm. and I think and even like I'll give an example the last one I was with I remember I was outside Mm -hmm. and his neighbor a black guy was staring hard as fuck at me and I just like didn't understand why I was like minding my own business I think I just like wanted to get something for my car Mm -hmm. I went back inside and I like told the guy he was like oh he's probably wondering how a white guy could get you Mm -hmm. but I'm like is it that Mm -hmm. or is it something else yeah you know what I mean because and I know this goes into and you could probably relate too because you're in a biracial relationship Mm -hmm. and I've I've been in many biracial relationships there's always this like stick and I have a you know I'm a fucking hypocrite Mm -hmm. I'll say that out loud because but I think the reason I'm a hypocrite is from personal things I Definitely, when I see a black guy with a white girl, I'm, I look at them. So, I look, oh yeah, I look at them sideways. Yeah. Even though, yes, I'm well, I'm other things besides black. But a black girl, typically with a white guy, I think that's perfectly okay. Mm-hmm. But I think the reason why I look at that is because, like, I know a white guy who, or a couple white black guys that target target white women. Mm-hmm. So it and it doesn't make me. It just makes, like, because I, cause I know I, your mindset no, behind I, it. Yeah, I think I know what you mean, because when... <laughs> oh, sorry, we're going there. Yes, okay. And I just want to say, these are my own personal, um, my own personal views and opinions exactly. and personal experiences with it, and I yeah. know it doesn't relate with everyone, so just be mindful of that, and if I do offend you, I apologize, but I'm speaking from my personal experiences and my personal views of the situation um so when it comes to that like and it's been shown just by what people like with social media altogether so i noticed when black men date white women or a woman of a different ethnicity or Mm -hmm. race whatever background that is not black yeah they always have to highlight oh my girl is this and I'm happy she's not black because if she was black, she would act like this. They always need to compare their girl to a black woman and how a black woman... They have to put them in negative light. Exactly. Like, and I think that's the main difference between a woman who was black dating outside of her race. We never need to compare a black man to yeah, the person that we're dating because exactly. it's irrelevant. Like, Because I always... that's you, You're fucking right. And I didn't even notate that until now. Black men always want to degrade black women. In the process of being lifting a, up their... They're non-black women. I've never seen a black woman degrade a black man to lift up her partner who was Not outside black. of her yeah. race. And that's, 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 the fucking the, difference. that's my issue with it. And that's why I give that side eye because in the back of my head when I see the couples, a black man with a non-black woman, it sort of questions my head. Is he doing it because of colorism? Because how he was raised? Because he doesn't want his daughters to come out with nappy hair or yeah. he wants colored eyes and like, yeah. you know, he wants them to have a lighter skin complexion or is he is he really with the person because he genuinely that's just who he loves? Yeah. You know, like, it's yeah. just, I just noticed that online and I don't get it because the whole time I've been with Alex, I've never felt the need to bring up, mm-hmm. oh, like, I've Prior to Alex, I was with a black man from Chicago, you know, so it's like, I could easily compare the two and be like, oh, you know, Alex is so much better and, you know, blah, 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 but it's like, But that's not based on their race. No, it has nothing to do with this color of their skin, their background, like, it has nothing to do with that. That's who they are as an individual and, like, those are their morals, you know, and that has nothing to do with that. And that's where it's like, it seems like us as black women, or being even mixed, because I'm not a full black woman, like, yeah. we know how to not, we we don't correlate the two, because there's no correlation at all. And yeah. it seems like, for some reason, and it, I know it's not all black men, and I shouldn't even have to say this, because if the shoe fits, wear it, but if it doesn't, don't be offended. Exactly. It seems like they can't fucking, not, they need to correlate everything, and there's yeah. no fucking correlation at all. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking agree, and I didn't even realize that until now and you're absolutely right like I think that's the main difference and I think that because I've seen firsthand I know black men firsthand Mm -hmm. that will not even look at a black woman Mm -hmm. 
And it's like, motherfucker, your mom's wax. So you think, do you think she's disgusting and all this but shit too? But that's what's weird is they always put their mom on a pedestal. That's true. My black queen, my black this, my black that. And it's like, yeah. where's that energy for these black women out here? That's true. That's true. That's true. That I don't, I don't, like, it's mind boggling to me. But then to me, because it, it almost, like, I've definitely dated other, prior to the white guy I was just with, I was with a guy who was black and Asian, the, before that he was full black, mm -hmm. so, but typically my quote type is a white guy, and mm -hmm. there's a bunch of different specs to that, but I always thought like, damn, do I have like, is there something fucking wrong with me, do I have some no. type of mental illness, but, but it's just, it could honestly, I think it's just plain and simple, it's just what I'm attracted to, and there's, that's it. And that's the thing, is a lot of people need to understand, just because someone is attracted to a, a certain type. type, it doesn't mean that they're against their race or other races it's just that's what they fucking like that's exactly. who they're attracted to and there's nothing wrong with that because, because then i could be called i don't know what the fucking name against short people is but i tend typically tend to date guys a lot taller than me yeah have i dated guys my height or shorter yes but my quote type is guys who are taller than me but the thing is, so, is you're not you're not sitting up there putting down those other types yeah. you have a set type of you know if you see this person you're like i'm attracted to them but mm -hmm. if you happen to come across someone else like you don't deny your feelings or yeah. connection with them like you're like yeah. okay i like you i because, don't give a fuck if you don't match what i want you know yeah, like that's true because i i like i have a I've definitely dated guys, quote, opposite of my type. Typically, mm -hmm. like I go for guys who are ha heavily tattooed. I've dated guys with zero tattoos. Mm -hmm. Go for guys who are tall. I've gone for guys who are short. I usually go for white guys. I've gone for Mexican, uh, all different Hispanics. Yeah. Black, you know what I mean? So, and I think that a lot of people do kind of, when I tell them what my, quote, type is, they look at me sideways. They think you're anti-black or you're this. Yeah. And it's like, no, trust but me. I get, at the same time, I get a lot of people tell me, Oh, you quote act white. A lot of people tell me that. I fucking hate that. Which I don't understand how that what that what the fuck that means. I've never understood. But it's like it's if you even on this even on this podcast I'd be talking like um ghetto sometimes, but if you speak like you have some fucking knowledge or some fucking education, that's quote acting white. But the thing that I don't fucking get is there's hell like you like we grew up in fucking different states too. Yeah. Like we're not all gonna have the same accent, you know. Like True. there's people that grow up in the fucking south or even back east or Midwest, and they sound quote unquote ghetto, but they're fucking smart as fuck. They can have a PhD, yeah. And just because of how they talk, if oh you're ghetto, you're this, and it's like no, you just have a fucking stereotype in your head, and because that person matches a stereotype, you assume that and. It does not, like, no, like, yeah. just because I grew up here in Arizona, yeah, I'm from Detroit, but I grew up in Arizona. I have a certain accent. I don't have a back Midwestern accent. Like, yeah. I didn't grow up around those, like, those kind of people. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not going to pick up on that twang, Do you people know? Have, does people in Detroit have accents? Yeah, you can hear it. When my cousin heard? comes, like, you can hear her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, like, it's just, like, it's so frustrating because it's just, like, No. it's just it's a lot and i don't understand why people can't just understand that like just because you know said person acts a certain way or dresses a certain way or because someone is alternative and oh you're black you need to wear jordans and nikes or like mm -hmm. give into the stereotype just because i don't match that stereotype does not make me any less of who i am like i'm when i walk down the street people still see that i'm black People still see that, oh, she has nappy hair or whatever the case may be. That does not take away from who I am. And that and that could be the same thing with um even gender. Exactly. Because I I think like if you were to look at me, I guess I am like usually I'm wearing like vans, mm -hmm. jeans, and a graphic tee. Yeah. That could be quote tomboy or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? And I don't know if that comes based on my sexuality or just who the fuck I am. Like where I, even though it's not California, like, I still consider, lo I still low-key consider Arizona, like, West Coast a little mm -hmm. bit. Like, even though we're, like, Southwest. Yeah. But we do have that same, like, West Coast, like, bands, chucks, like, type mm -hmm. of, you know what I mean? Like, in middle school, I used to fucking skateboard. Yeah. Before I started cheerleading, and then I <laughs> turned 
girly and now I'm back to my fucking emo ways, but whatever. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. even on that level, like, you know, it's like, oh, why are you, you know, a lot of people think I'm, like, masculine or whatever the fuck. But, but it's they like, act like fucking, like, you can't be fucking androgynous, you know? Like, true. Prince existed. He was, who knows, he might have been pansexual or bisexual, whatever he was, but yeah. he fooled and i'm pretty sure his sex life was amazing like i, I can only imagine oh, he probably but got like, orgies and all that yeah but just because of how he dressed didn't mean that he wasn't a heterosexual male david bowie he was it's fucking exactly. hell androgynous doesn't fucking but he matter. was married to a iman fuck what's your last name i don't remember model. model yes iman and it's like he could still look, heterosexual. Look, so look it's at like, the, he's a androgynous man in a biracial relationship. <laughs> biracial heterosexual relationship. Yeah, like, exactly. There's so much going on. <laughs> and I love it. I thrive on like people who are, who are different. I notice like even with my friends, like none of my friends are alike. Yeah. Like none of them are alike. And I fucking love that. Yeah, it's fun. Like, yeah. I, growing up, I never wanted to, especially being exposed to certain, like, growing up around, like, raving and, like, seeing how people were able to freely express themselves and having gay uncles and seeing how they didn't care and, like, growing up around drag queens, that really exposed me to a lot of different stuff. And mm-hmm. I always like, realize that I never wanted to fit into a specific mold. Yeah, I may dress, like, fucking very basic at days, but then there's days where I'm like, no. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm going to dress how I want to. If it makes people uncomfortable, that's fine. They're going to be comfortable in how they choose to dress, but that's not what I want. I don't ever want to feel, like, too normal. And if I start to feel too normal, I need a mm-hmm. bitch. I cut off all my hair because I was like, I don't like this. Like, yeah. I don't. I don't like starting to feel like I'm trapping myself into a set idea of what society wants. And when I start to feel that way, I'm like, no. Yeah. And, like, I do get comfortable with how I dress. And, like, I like changing it up and stepping out of my comfort zone. But at the same time, I might be normal to some people. But to me, like, I feel like I'm different. Yeah. No, I'd say I'm definitely the, the same way. And it's, like, I always, like... It's like, I have to be different. I have to be different. Yeah. But then it's like, I come to realize, you know, certain people like to fucking bite my style and copy what I do. <laughs> so it's just like, you're not always going to be very unique, whatever. Oh, no. You know? So but I as have long to get as, really used to that. Yeah. As long as you feel comfortable with how you feel. Yeah. And lately I've been like, it's really been bothering me because I am very, you know, body modifications. Like you yeah. like them. Like yeah. I like them too. And like, my final form, how I see myself, I see myself with fake titties, a bunch of tattoos, piercings, like, yeah, you know, that's just what I see. And, like, I've been struggling a lot with my self-image because I don't see myself I fucking am the how same way. I... In, in your mind. Yes, yes, like, I know what I'm supposed to look... I know, not... Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to look like. Like, I know what I want to look like. No, that's true because there's... I, I, like, the other day I was looking at myself in the mirror and it's like I didn't even... Like, I know that's me, but I, that doesn't even... It isn't even, like, I could have walked past a man and think that was someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just not how I, in my head, I think I look. Yeah. Or I'm supposed to look. Because I'm the same way. I Fuck, my whole body should be fake by now. I should be, well, I'm I'm struggling. I'm having an internal struggle with tattoos. Because I feel like I want to come off as very, like, I don't know, to where I can conform to any side oh, you feel okay me? yeah and so i feel like if i'm heavily like i'm struggling with getting more t- face tattoos yeah but which i could always cover with makeup but my true pure self like i want to be able to conform with the people who are quote um you want to be a chameleon you yeah. don't ever want to feel like i'm stuck in a too much. yeah where yeah. you're you are stuck exactly and that's cool as fuck I just know, like, I've always seen myself heavily tattooed. No, same. Yeah. But that's where I'm, like, I struggling. want... Struggling. But I'm, like, I could always cover it with makeup, so yeah. fuck it. But I do want to be... Because I'm, like, fuck, like, who the fuck is ever going to want to take me home to their parents if I have all these fucking tattoos on my face? <laughs> like, even now, I got all these piercings and fucking... I got two tattoos on my face and my nails and shit. I'm, like, who the fuck is ever going to want to take me home to their parents? But, you know, it's crazy. Okay, so... I even never... though I have already. Yeah. 
looking the way I do now, but still. I've never really talked about this, but growing up in fourth grade, I had a best friend. His name was Mike Gonzalez, but with an S. Okay. He was my Two fucking... S's? No, just uh, At the Z, end? S, yeah. Okay. So he was like my best friend. And what made me realize is because I always used to have this idea, and even after like I lost contact with him, I still struggled with like needing to feel normal and like fitting society's like norms. Yes. Um very alternative family. Mm-hmm. The mom had stretched ears, she was fully covered in tattoos, piercings, they're so, very like goth and like yes, he had yeah. a mohawk, like and I was in the fourth grade and I would go spend the night over there, like oh, dope. yeah, like that was my fucking best best friend, like yeah. best friend. And the dad used to smoke weed. He would always be like, you guys need to go outside right now and go up into the room. But I, I smelt it, so I yeah, knew what it yeah. was. But it was just so cool, like, going over there. And even though I didn't fit how they dressed, and, you know, like, yeah. I felt so welcomed and never yeah. judged. And, like, that always put in the back of my mind, like, regardless of how I appear, mm-hmm. like, I know that there's going to be a family out there that's going to accept me. And there's always going to be someone out there that accepts me. You know, and that's true. I, I don't, I'm I'm talking shit because I have this same amount of fucking tattoos and I have one more piercing. <laughs> yeah. But I've looked pretty much the same when I was over at the last person's mm-hmm. family and they were fucking so nice and I actually liked them and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> like, because before like, I've been around family and I was like, I didn't like the fucking sister. Like, she's a bitch. Or the fucking mom is weird. And I was like paranoid the mom didn't like me yeah. or whatever. But, like, in this situation, like, everyone was, like, super fucking cool. So, um, I just, I don't know, I think I'm tripping. But, like, still, at the same time, like, No, there's a, even, like, okay, so my mother-in-law, that's why I hesitate getting tattoos because she's very anti, like, any of that. Like, Alex has, he, she, he. She only knows about the one tattoo because he has one on the back of his arm. Uh And even then, she was sort of like, what the fuck? But he has tattoos on his leg. So he has uh, 666 with a smiley face. And Uh then he has um, upside down cross. Uh So he doesn't wear shorts around his mom because he's scared of her seeing them being like, you're into this and you're into that, you know? like Going crazy. And so, like, I want to black out one of my arms. Like, I've, I've been wanting to do that. So, like, I'm scared to just one day... She sees me, she's like, what the fuck did you do to your arm, you know? And, yeah. like, traditional Hispanic families, they can be very judgmental about that, so it's it's a struggle. But I'm like, fuck it, it's my body, I'm paying for it, I want to look how I want to look, and if you don't like it, too. Oh, well. Fuck off. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna take a quick break. We're back, guys. Hey. I had a moment there. I think you're still having a moment. Yes, bitch, I'm about to cry. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Which is on our topic. Okay. Aaron Carter. Yeah. Okay. I've always liked Aaron Carter ever since I was little. So do you remember that episode of Lizzie McGuire where he was on there and he was like, yeah. uh, you know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Okay. I know. So, and he's been in the news recently, recently yes. for some crazy shit about his, whatever. So I like re-fell in love with him. <laughs> Lately, I was watching his No Jumper interview and he's a little out there, but like I understand him. Well, you know yeah, what I mean? He suffers with mental illnesses too, so that affects yeah, a lot. But it's like I just like feel like he's misunderstood mm-hmm. and doesn't know like no he knows like what the fuck he's you know what I mean? I just yeah. feel like he's been so discredited that people are automatically like saying this and saying that about him, you know? Cancel culture. Yeah, which we're gonna talk about next. Yes. Um sorry, people are calling me. Um, and anyway, so right now he's on, I was watching his IG live, and he's getting his face tattooed, and he was playing Little Peep, like, back to back in the background, and if you know me, I, like, fucking, um, I'm obsessed with Little Peep, I have, like, I have one, two, three, like, four tattoos, like, loosely dedicated, well, one of them is, like, fully dedicated to him, but the other three are, like, loosely dedicated to him, and I'm about to get a, I want to get a portrait of him, and then, like, one other thing, and then I think I'm done with that, but I, like, love Little Peep, like, yeah, it's just, it's crazy, I got, like, all, like, I got all kinds of vinyls and shit, anyways, um, yeah, so I was having a moment there with that, um, but cancel, or read the tweet, she's, she, uh, Malaysia was, during the break, found a tweet that she wanted to read aloud, Oh, it has nothing to do with 
Oh, oh yeah, it does. Okay, so this is a separate tweet. I'm gonna read. No, the... no, no. I know, but I was okay. saying she. I was okay. transition. Let me actually. I still need to find it. So. Okay, we're back again. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. I found the tweet. Okay, what's the tweet? Okay, so, um, I follow this sex ex sex worker. I want to say sex worker maybe. Mm-hmm. Um. And it was about an article about, or she was highlighting certain lyrics of Meg Thee Stallion's freestyle. Okay. And how um, she wrote an article in, let me see, it's called Bitch Media, and it's about how, um, let me just give you a little, like, sentence from the article, just so you have a background of where she's coming from so it says if you're going to imitate and glorify host shit from the outside and feel empowered by telling men you won't breathe in their direction unless they cast you out unpack your internalized misogyny and whorephobia so she was just highlighting how meg the stallion in certain lyrics like she's been like she's using benefiting from a lot of sex work sex work yes but then she goes to say oh i'm not a prostitute so she was talking okay. about that, and then someone tried coming at her sideways. So then she had to put them in check, and she was because they were trying to say, "Oh, you listen to Chris Brown, you listen to all these artists, and you know yeah. that's they're misogynistic, you know all that shit." Of course. And so she um, said, "If you have no interest in highlighting how artists contribute to or are directly responsible for violence, that's fine. If you have no interest in conversations that acknowledge artists are trash and their music bangs, that's fine." So. I like how how she said, like, especially with the whole cancel culture that's going on, like, oh, this person did this, like, not going to listen to the music. Mm-hmm. You can still acknowledge what they did, that they're a shit person, and that, you know, that they're horrible for what they did, but you can also acknowledge that, yeah, they make good music, but that doesn't change that they're a fucking piece of shit, and that, you know, like... Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. they deserve everything that's coming their way negatively yeah not negatively but yeah you know what i mean (laughs) i i I get that yeah i don't know i haven't really been like on the only time i'm like pro cancel culture is like with the bang energy drink and their supporting of donald trump or soul cycle and there's like another one that's attached to it they're supporting of trump that's the only time where i'm like fuck yeah cancel culture all the way but other than that i'm like there's certain, it depends on the situation, I feel like, for me personally, like, I love where she's coming from, but when it comes to that, like, I still have my certain things where I'm like, I can't fuck with you. Yeah. Like, despite, like, I can, yeah, you may have good music, and yes, I might have liked you in the past, but, like, moving forward, I can't, like, I just can't, just because who you are and what you represent and you doing certain things or saying certain things, like, I just can't associate myself with that, and, like, I get it. You know, like... Well, like, so with R. Kelly... Yeah. I won't buy or download or listen to any of his new music, but the shit that I have on my phone now, like... Oh, I I I I had to delete it. Really? Like, I thought, like, maybe I should, but, like, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was... It's only, like, fucking, like, three songs. Yeah. No, and he made good songs, but, like, it's just, like, when they were breaking down a lot of the lyrics... And, like, oh, yeah. seeing how it correlated to the shit that he did, that really didn't settle well with me. And so it's, like, it's hard to sing along and, like, jam to these songs when you hear, like... Well, yeah. Well, because well, it depends on the artist for me, whether yeah. or not I'm actually, like, listening to the lyrics. Sometimes yeah. it's just, like, a, a the beat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's that's just catchy, it. yeah. Whereas, like, someone, like, fucking Little Peep or Ghost Man or yeah. whatever, like, I break down the... Like, I know the lyrics, I break them down, and yeah. I, like, know the meaning. Right? Yeah. As much as I can interpret the meaning or whatever. So, I guess it's, I don't know, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah. It, it is different, and, and it's fucking hard, because, like, you just, you fucking never know nowadays, man. It's just... Even that's why I was low-key a little worried about, like, making the podcast, because I was like, I don't want someone to, like, pull up some shit, or, like, you know, like, because I, and I know that there are going to be people that do that, and yeah. but, like... My whole mindset is, like, how I see it, I I was young at one point. Like, yeah. I know I said some stupid shit. Like, yeah. I know at one point in my life I wasn't educated enough on certain topics. Absolutely. And so, like, you, yeah, you might come across some shit that I said that was fucking ignorant as fuck. And I will take full ownership, but however, moving forward, like, 
I know I'm gonna offend people. I can't please everyone. I'm not well educated still on a lot of stuff. Like I'm still yeah. learning to this day. But I, if you come to me and say, hey, you know, like I noticed you said this, and I just want you to know you need to research this, or maybe you should do like you don't even need or to give me specific. This. You yeah. know, like I don't expect you to give me the education, but just say, hey, like you should look more into this. Like you should educate yourself more on this. Like yeah. I will f- gladly do that, and I will take full ownership. Yeah. However, like, don't automatically be like, oh, you're canceled. Like, you know, like. Yeah. Well, this is the thing, though. Like, the way that I've always been ahead of that is I for I expose myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to the point where I'm probably, there's some dumbass tweets of mine. But other than that, like, and eh, like, I kind of expose myself with everything that I've done. So yeah. there's really nothing. you always been, like, sort of transparent. Always been transparent. So there's yeah. really nothing for anybody to come out my neck for. Same. I feel like I've always used to just talk shit to people. Yeah, now I don't talk shit up to behind people's backs to say it to your face. No, that's the thing is, like, the people knew I was saying, like, it was directed to them. Like, I just used to, like, threaten people a lot. That's the only thing that... Yeah. I was very violent. No, same. Let me say. So, people could probably hold that against me. I might... I'm not that. some stupid shit. I mean, I'm... (laughs) I used to be very physically violent, maybe now more verbally violent violent a yeah. little bit. No, not even because most now I'm like, bitch, whatever and I walk away. Same. But I still, if you push me to that point, I could definitely still be violent. Like, I'm oh, fucking yeah. fire sign. Uh, I, dude, I was looking at my chart. A lot of my <laughs> shit is in Aries, bitch. Uh, a lot. I know. I compare our charts. Like, okay, it was it was like a lot of shit. Like, my fucking Mercury is in Aries. Fucking my Venus is in Aries. You were just born at the perfect time, right? It's just Aries, Aries. It was like Aries, Aries, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, Aries, Aries, Aries. Yeah, because I was reading through the fucking um, app and I was like, damn, like I'm truly like a fire sign through and through. So like I'm a hot headed ass bitch. Fuck with me if you want to. Okay, you know? so I am a uh, Capricorn, Libra rising, and a Capricorn moon. Mm. Uh. I wanted to say something though. Oh, my chart. That's only you for my chart. Hold on. Okay, so I'm a Libra ascendant, Sagittarius. Wait. Sorry. My sorry. Restart over. <laughs> so my sun is in Capricorn. My moon is in Capricorn. I'm an ascend. I'm a ascendant in Libra. Mercury in Capricorn. Venus in Pisces. Mars in Aquarius. Jupiter in Capricorn. Saturn in Pisces. Uranus in Aquarius. Neptune in Capricorn. Pluto and Sagittarius. Okay, I... You know you could just look at the tart, right? Yeah. I'll tell you. I know, but I like this. Oh, okay. But, so see, same thing with you. A lot of your shit is in Capricorn. The majority of your chart is in Capricorn. It ex- Yeah, it explains why I'm emotional, though, with the Pisces. Fuck. Well, same. Fucking, the, my motherfucking moon is in Capricorn, in, in Cancer. Girl. That's why I'm like a fucking little bitch sometimes. But anyways, the majority of my shit is in Aries. Dude, my sun, Mercury, Saturn, and Mars are all in Aries. Like, what? Girl? My ascendant is Virgo. My Pluto, Sagittarius. My Neptune, Uranus, and Venus are all in Aquarius. Jupiter, Pisces. And my bitch-ass moon is in Cancer. So, like, your bitch-ass moon. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, like, your the moon rules your emotions, moods, and feelings. And because my shit's in Cancer, that means I'm... It says, meaning your emotional self is sensitive, thoughtful, empathetic. You have a tendency to feel like you, you're a, a myrtle and secretly fear being abandoned by those you love. And that's the thing I always said, like, I don't have daddy issues, but I have abandonment issues like a motherfucker, mm-hmm. like for sure. And that's why I'm a little fucking whiny bitch sometimes because my, I have a water sign in my moon sign. <laughs> that's just like, fuck, just getting fucked in the ass. Okay. So my moon is in Capricorn. So it says that I crave guidance and comfort of a teacher or parent. However, I notice, not necessarily my parents, because fuck them. Yeah. However, I do tend to, when I get attached to people, I tend to um, look for them for guidance. Like how I was talking to you earlier, like, yeah. help me. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> what do I do? So, like, that sort of explains. Because I, I don't have a lot of friends. But the friends that I do have, I get fucking attached. I don't have friends either. Really. I have attachment issues. You know what I do too? Maybe, maybe I think I have attachment issues. No, I do. You know what? I'm controlling. 
I just because I'm like, damn, like, why don't my friends want to hang out with me more? Like, is there something wrong with me? I was thinking that earlier. <laughs> you said to overanalyze. See, Fuck yeah. I get my thing is like I'm very controlling. So when I really like you and you're like my friend, yeah. I don't like knowing that you hang out with other, other people. people. That shit bothers me. Really, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, because I do get jealous sometimes of like with your other friend. Because I know you guys are like really good friends, but I'm like, which one? Uh, Desiree? Yeah. So I'm like, why isn't she like with me? Like, I should be there. Like, I know it's me. Yeah. You but know, then I'm like, dude, like, calm down. Realize, like. You know what? No, I'm the same way. Well, in relationships, it's different. Yeah. Dude, oh my God. What the fuck is. Hold on. I'm sorry. I have to look this up because this shit sent me. It sent me. Hold on. Let me let me find this shit real quick. Because I think it's my same. Venus. Oh. <laughs> okay, Venus, my Venus is an Aquarius, and the Venus determines how you love, right? Uh-huh. Um, express affection, the you un- uh, qualities you're attracted to. So your Venus is an Aquarius, meaning your romantic side is unconventional, intellectual, and somewhat detached. Bitch, do you remember when we were talking the other episode about how people, I've noticed people that I am with, they think I don't, I'm not in it, or I don't like them? Yeah. And it it said it 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 literally said that one with my Venus, and I was like, "Bitch, what?" Because, and refresher if you didn't hear that episode, like, uh, Bridge, he I remember one time he was like, "Well, I didn't think you liked me," and I was like, "Motherfucker, I've been dealing with you for two years. What yeah. the fuck do you mean you don't think I like you? Yeah. What the fuck?" And then with the last one, we, me and you, and even my mom, well, even before we even started having, well, not having problems, but. A problem occurred Mm -hmm. she thought that like maybe it was just like a thing that maybe he thought I wasn't in it Mm -hmm. and I but to me in my head you're like fully like I'm like on board like let's go like everything and then you get confused when you're like the person's like oh I didn't know and you're like dude you should have known not know and 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 but and it says that but like I'm honestly like trying to analyze my actions and I'm like (laughs) But it shows. But then I was like, oh, you know, there's some times where I don't text back for, like, hours. And they text me, like, three times. And I look at it and I still don't text back. But you you, it's because I mean? you, don't, you don't see the issue with it. Because, you know, like, it doesn't bother you. Well, see, with text messaging, period. Yeah. I have a fucking problem. Like, I got... Let's see how many unread text messages I have right now. I have... I wonder how many I have. 605. Oh, fuck. I got two. Are you for real? Yeah. I have 25 missed calls, though. I have, I'd be... I <laughs> decline, have decline, decline. 71 missed calls. Okay. So, you know, I think I have, like, a little bit of... But, but this is the thing, though. That's good. I fucking hate... 605. Yeah, I have 605 over text messages. Okay. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I fucking hate texting, Loki, I realize. Like, yeah. there's only certain people I, like, actually like to text... Well, other than that, it's like, because everyone who texts me, they want something. So I'm like, just fucking call me and get it over with. Like, I don't want to go with the back and forth type shit. Just fucking call me. You know what I noticed? What? I I can see where people think you're not interested. Because even when I text you, like, I'll be really excited about something. Uh-huh. And you're just like, okay, cool. Damn, for real. Yeah, and I'll be oh, like, fuck. LOL, LMAO. And you're just like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and I'm just like, wait, like, is she excited? But then when I talk to you and I see you, you're like, yeah, like, I love, and I'm just like, wait, like, wait. <laughs> I don't, I think I What's don't, going on? For me, I don't know how to interpret you're just emotions very, through text messages. You're just very straightforward. It's yeah. like, I'm going to text you, like, you're getting my response, that's it. Like, you're lucky I'm texting you back pretty much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and to me, I'm like, I hardly text people. So when I do text and I'm, like, actually excited, I'm yeah. like, do they know I'm excited? Like, it depends. You know what I mean? You know what? It, 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 usually in the beginning of a relationship, I'm like, yes, like, let's text yeah. fucking all day emojis, <laughs> gifts, all that shit. And then after a while, I'm like, dude, just fucking call me. Like, what the fuck do you want? Like, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. Like, let's just have a call, a, a, a minute conversation. You say what the fuck you need to say. I say my rebuttal and get it over with. Like, Literally. I'm just like, not that. I don't know. Sorry, my fucking See, I was, I was telling you about, like, the episode, and you just said, cool. <laughs> And Damn. I was, like, expecting more. That's all I was like. For real? <laughs> but I could see where, like, I'm used to it now. You know, like, it doesn't bother me. 
But, like, I could see, because I know how you are. Yeah. But, like, I could see where, like, if you're in a new relationship and you start to do that, they're going to be like, wait, is she even interested? And, yeah. like, I'm just like a... <laughs> No, because then it could be the flip where I'm like hella expressive over text message, but then when I get face to face with you, I get I shut down. Yeah. Because I'm like I get nervous and yeah. sometimes in front it de- you know it's, it just depends. I don't make sense. Conclusion of the fucking. She's everywhere. I just. But no, we're at the same time. I, the bitch. <laughs> that's what the fuck I'm saying. Like just fucking <laughs> balls to the wall. Exactly. Like. I just want to know my biggest mystery in life right now is what the fuck is gonna happen next who knows girl i'm trying to make it i feel like i'm making it minute by minute second by second like that's literally how i'm just like trying to just no honestly it's not even a bad thing it's just like i'm tired of like how can i say like i don't want to set up certain expectations i just want to fucking do it and just get where i want to be and that be that like this is the thing though. I have this set view. This when I close my eyes and envision what my life is and the people who are in my life, I have it set a certain way. <laughs> and some of those people are not even in my life right now. And I'm like, usually before it's like I'm able to alter my outlook on life based on who's in my life and I'm like, "All right, that person's out, whatever." But there's certain a certain person who is not escaping that that picture in my mm-hmm. brain. And like I've said before, I'm a definitely a fuck you type of bitch. You fuck me over is fuck you for life. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I'm trying to figure out why... You can't let that... This or alter it now. Alter my view. Because for me, it's like... The scene's been the same, the house has been the same, but the people that I'm with in the house or at this party with alter yeah but the party's still the same the yeah. scene is still the same well those people at this party are consistent so i'm like is the universe trying to tell me something yeah. i don't know it's like you found you found your people but the, some of these people are not even in the mix right now. yeah so, so what the weird. fuck does yeah. that mean like what you trying to s- i'm scratching my head what are you trying to say yeah it's what, i mean you know the universe has been throwing some weird shit at me about some people from the past, a couple people from the past. I'm just like, bitch, uh-uh, What's going on? I don't want this messy shit. Yeah. I need consistency. <laughs> For real. For real. Uh, so I'm just like really not not understanding the um, life right now. Yeah. I, I mean, I never understand life. Oh, same. But especially right the fuck now. You're just in LA. I'm just... <sighs> I, I just, I literally, I'm taking it day by day because I literally, I, right as of right now, like having a job, you have a schedule. I don't have a job. I don't have a schedule. I don't know what the fuck life is. I don't, like, even when you said, oh, you were asking, though, like, let's record on Tuesday, I was like, I honestly have no fucking clue because I don't even, I don't even know what the, I don't know what the fuck my life is like yeah. right now, which is fun. But scary, mm-hmm. because I'm definitely a person, like, I fire off of a routine. Yeah. Like, I need a routine. I like consistency. See, I want to have a routine where I get to do what I want and what I need to do without having to have, have some... other people or a, a, another company control that. Like, I, feel it. I don't want to have to work around their schedule. I want to work around my schedule. I feel it. That's where I, that's my goal. I feel it. I'm the same way. You know? I'm just... I'm really having some internal battles right now. Yeah. With, with my sexuality, mm-hmm. with my outlook on life, with relationships, literally with in, in financially, career wise, mm-hmm. I'm just having a bat, like a fucking severe battle with myself, mm-hmm. and I feel like I'm like going in between like everything, resorting to the old mentality but you don't want to no but then it's like sometimes when i do resort to that old mentality it doesn't end up working out any fucking way yeah so i'm like okay it's like is that the universe's like sign to tell me like bitch don't even don't even try to do it you know what i mean because you already know what the outcome is gonna be see that's what i'm trying to you know keep that like manifest that positive like girl yes no we're gonna do that because i i see myself trying to and i was like nope 
I, I checked myself real quick and I yeah. started singing to myself and I was like, positivity, we going to be positive. Like, nope, we yeah. don't need that energy. Like we are not giving into it because haven't you noticed anytime you start to peak, there's always that one thing that wants to just throw you off track. Yeah. And it's like, no, like, I'm sorry, but like, I'm not going to allow anyone to fuck up what I want and where I want to be or anyone around me. Like, yeah. you, our podcast, my home life. Like, no one is going to fuck that up for me. Yeah. I know where I'm going to be. I know where I want the people around me to be. And if they're telling me where they want to be, I'm going to make sure that they get there and I'll be damned if anything fucks that up. I feel you. And that and that's that's why I, with this, I started this podcast the first time back in December, which is almost damn near a year ago. Yeah. Um, with someone else and but I always had this vision of the podcast and I kept pushing it and pushing it. I was like now nah, like this is it like mm-hmm. I'm telling like this is really fucking it yeah and look now we're fucking doing it and it feels good because it's like you know people are like oh you listen to the podcast like within my personal life I'm like oh damn you listen to the yeah. podcast like how'd you find out about it yeah. like you know what I mean which is it's dope and it's a great feeling it's also scary because I'm like putting myself out there for people to judge me and ex- but do you whatever. Know what? That's fine because at the end of the day, how I see it, it's like people judge me any fucking way. Exactly, you're gonna judge me whether I am sitting on the couch eating a bag of potatoes or on the fucking big screen. Exactly, and how <laughs> I see it, I rather. Did I say a bag of potatoes? Yes, <laughs> I'm a <in> potato chips. <laughs> Whatever. But I always tell myself, and this is a constant reminder, i rather cry in a Range Rover. So, you can judge me all you want, and you might hurt my feelings, yes. but at the end of the day, I'm if, sorry I'm crying, if, if I'm crying in a Range Rover, like, that just goes to show I'd rather be wiping my fucking eyes with dollar bills in a Range Rover than crying in a fucking shack. Exactly. So, it's like... I don't know what the fuck happened. It just cut out. It just cut out. I don't even know where we were stopping at, but crying. In expensive luxury cars. Rather than crying in a shack. And that's what I was saying. How I see it is like, you guys might think, whoever listens to this, you guys might think we're unrealistic, and that's fine. That's but your small minded yes, mentality. If you want to be that way, that's fine. However, I, this, I have a million billion dollar mentality and I'm gonna <laughs> achieve it <laughs> same motherfucking so, same judge me all you want that's fine but I but, mark my words you are gonna listen to this episode and if I have to replay it in the future I will and you are gonna see we are about to be fucking popping on and popping but no this is what yes. I, I always tell people there's there has to be a CEO and there has to be an employee like, there has to be someone that is a fucking janitor, a custodian, or whatever, make a minimum wage, someone works at McDonald's. Like, not everyone can be a CEO, mm-hmm. and I understand that, but listen, I'm going to be the fucking CEO. Yes. Not of no small shit corporation of some big shit, you know yes. what I mean? And I've always had, and, the, and honestly, it ties again to my fucking childhood. Growing up, people ask me, what did you want to be when I grow when I whatever, when you grow up. I never had a fucking answer. I always had a princess. <laughs> I never had a fucking answer. I've never had a desire to go to college and to go do anything. I've never. I have no interest in going to school at all. And I literally said that on my way over here. I was like, I'm never going to college. No, like, I, I I finally came to terms. Like, I always talk about, oh, yeah, I want to go back to school. Because when you're having, like, small talk with people, like, Especially older people, you feel the need to say what they want to hear so you yeah. don't have to be fucking judged or scrutinized for it. Yeah. But, like, honestly, I don't care. Like, I'm never going to college. I already know that. Yeah. I don't plan on going to college mm-hmm. ever. Like, and even when I tell people when they're like, oh, what do you want to be? I'm like, I just want to be an entrepreneur. Like, I don't want one I just set. I want to be a billionaire. That's it. Yeah, That's I want to be rich. Be when I grow up. Like, I don't want. Not rich, wealthy. Wealthy, yes. I want to be very wealthy within mul- not just within like money wise, within multiple things. That's why I just need one. I just need a little. When they say it takes money to make money, bitch, they ain't just loan me a couple million. I promise you, will bitch, be good. That is literally my fucking I, my mentality. Do you know? I have so there, dude. I want to get into real estate, of music, fucking. Everything. There's so many avenues that I want to get into, but I need money. I need money. That's like that's it. 
But it's starting. That exactly. I, that I already have a I have a book halfway written. I need to finish it. Get that shit out. I yes. have so many fucking avenues of for revenue. Yes. I just need some money to do it. Yes. And I need to. I need to not have a job that's fucking taking up my time. You gotta be here clocking at this time, clocking yeah. out at this time. So that See, way I can do the things that I want in life. One thing that I am grateful for is like I do work. I work two jobs. I work zero, so she's picking up the slack for yes, me. Yes, <laughs> I'm working for Erica right now. Don't worry about it. Um, I like that I don't work a conventional job. Both of my jobs aren't conventional, which yeah. I like because I feel like I am able to handle this. Yeah. And even though sometimes I know, like, I'm like, Erica, can we just reschedule? Because yeah. I'm fucking tired. But, like, I, I'm i exhausted, but it's not an exhaustion in a bad way. Like, I love the feeling because I feel like I'm actually working towards something that I want. I, See, and that's my thing where it's like, I feel like with all these jobs, I come home exhausted for nothing. I have no satisfaction at the end of the day. Yeah, no, and that's what I, like, and people, like, fuck, not even to bring people into it, but just within my own self, like, um, like, telling myself, like, oh, you're just trying to do the most, like, you know, but, like, I sincerely am okay with this exhaustion that I feel, because I'm not, like, mentally exhausted Mm -hmm. i might be physically exhausted but like my like i want to keep doing more and that's what it's like crazy because i feel like i don't have enough time to do more like i want to work these two jobs i want to do the podcast but i still want to do so like if i could work five jobs right now i probably would just because i feel like i'm achieving well see the thing is i want to work five jobs but i want to own yeah those five jobs but for right now i know that like i have to work to just get my step ahead see and that was my mentality too i was just like i'm gonna have this job for a little bit it's yeah. gonna it's just just something to pay my bills so i can do what the fuck i want to where i don't need this job to pay my bills my bills will be paid for i don't even yeah. to worry about it yeah that's always been my mentality yeah i'm just like you know what inspires me is the owner from my second job mm-hmm. they are like badass really yes just because seeing how they started something from the ground up and even though it's still small it still brings in so much revenue to where they can afford dropping hundreds of thousand dollar like nothing yeah. you know back into their business and because they already know that they're gonna get that back within a matter of time yeah. and just seeing how like being able to connect with that person and having such a close relationship with that person, it makes me realize that I can achieve that. And that's, like, I can go down that same route and, like, that could be one of my business Eventually. ventures, you know? And, yeah. like... Well, like, that's the thing. I like... Well, for me, I like building something from the ground up, but honestly, I'm going to be honest, I like shit that's already well established. Yeah, so you don't that's have to do why that. I like... Um, I want to get into like different franchises. Yeah, mm-hmm. so building your way up. Yeah, but it's already a well-known name, some yes. an established name. Yeah. So there's a couple franchises I kind of want to get into or investing shit like that. Yeah, that's smart. I never thought about that. I just need fucking money. Yes. Okay? Like that's literally the bottom line. I just need money, and everyone, everyone says this, and you know, Kylie Jenner. People, hey, props to her though. People clap, like talk shit about her that she's not self-made. I disagree. She. This is why I. She flipped. She didn't even flip. She like. But this is why I disagree on that. She yes had money to start this makeup company, but she did it herself. These are you know things she created with whatever people that she paid. But. She chose to go those routes. She could have easily kept that money and kept it how it was. Yeah. But she said, no, I'm going to use my money and I'm going to use it to my advantage and start these things that she's very well, like, um, passionate about. Yeah. And she turned it into something that... A billion dollar fucking... Yes. Which I applaud her. Exactly. But this is the same thing. You take me, for example. I go into a bank and I ask them for a loan. I start a makeup company, and I become a fucking billionaire off of that, okay? Mm-hmm. It's the same fucking thing. It's just because her name is Kylie Jenner. It's attached to it, but it's the same fucking it's But the she could have easily been forgotten if she didn't 
go the route that she did. She could have easily just Lock, been live oh, a very she's, comfortable she's life. She's Kim Kardashian's younger sister. That's that's yeah. it. She, she made sure that she made turned name her herself. name into a brand. Exactly. She branded herself. And exactly. You can't be mad at that. I'm and not mad at no, her at all. No, like if I was in the same position, I would do the same fucking exact thing. Same like, exact thing. She's smart. Very fucking smart. She's a businesswoman, and she was raised by a businesswoman. And people exactly. try to even knock Kim Kardashian. Oh, she only got well known for her sex tape. Yeah, she seen that she had an opportunity to bank on it, and she's fucking smart because she oh. set herself up. And she she's not just known for that. She is. She has fragrances. She has hair care products. She has fucking she has hair care products. Yeah, they have like straighteners, blow dryers, hairspray. Uh, okay. Yeah, like her and her sisters. Well, uh, well, did they? All publicity is good publicity, whether it's good or bad, and she, she went with it. She she went with honestly, it, and that's fucking they smart. Are, that whole family is fucking, they're all brilliant, because if you look, every single one of them has their own form of income mm-hmm. outside of this card, not outside of the Kardashian brand, but outside of, like, the TV show and, yeah. like, the, the general whatever shit. Mm-hmm. Rob, he has his sock line in, in fucking... I think he has a clothing line too. Yeah, I think Scott so. Disick, he flips houses. He got a and TV show. And he has show. his own clothing line too. And he has a, a, yeah, a clothing line. Like oh, I'm just like, but it takes money. It, it, did they have a little bit of an advantage because they already have a name where people yeah. watch and people are intrigued and like a cult following? Yes, they have but that advantage. If you think about it, there's also celebrities who had that name and had that title, but it did went completely anything opposite, it? and That's now true. they're like fucking living regular 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 lives and not even talked about or known or forgot you know That's so it's true. like it can go either way they uh-huh. just chose to make it the best route for themselves and set themselves up and their families up and like i said i can't hate on that mm-hmm. are they problematic fuck yeah but i still, I, am i problematic fuck, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i still support their hustle and like yeah. i still support what the fuck that they do and continue to do just because that takes fucking a lot. Yeah. I fucking, I applaud them, dude. Yeah. I applaud everything they do. I applaud, there's so many fucking people that are badass that are out there fucking busting their ass, and, like, I give them all the credit. Like, I cannot hate on them. And there's probably the same people doing the same thing that they're doing, but they're not getting enough credit because they don't have that well-known name. Yeah. And, and I get that. They do deserve more credit, yes, but... Also, don't try and take away what other people have and what they have because you can't compare the two. Everyone's situation is different. And just because, yes, you guys are in the same avenue doesn't mean that the outcome is going to be the same. And that's yeah. what you just need to learn to accept. Not You can't have the same outcome as every single person. Of you know, course. like everything's going to be different. So you just need to come to terms with it. And it's nothing wrong with that. All right, well, I think we should probably wrap up this episode. It definitely took a different avenue than I thought we were going to go in. Yes. Which is good. I'm really hoping... Can I read this tweet real quick? Yes, read the tweet. Okay. It's a different tweet. Was that the funny funny tweet? Okay. And this is going to be for all my parents out there. I can't relate. Yes, this is why I was funny and I apologize, but this shit is fucking hilarious because I feel like I relate. So... The tweet is, you can't let social media know you got kids, for real. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you'd be told... Oh, okay. Let me restart this, sorry. You can't let social media know you got kids, for real. All of a sudden, you'd be too old for ordinary shit. A bitch will run into you at Chipotle and subtweet you an hour later. Like, niggas really out here getting double meat, but got a whole kid at home. Could never be me. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> but it's true as fuck, because I feel like so many people are like that. So, with that being said. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to say this one thing. Yes. I don't know if I should say that. I'm not going to say their names. Mm-hmm. So there's this guy, uh-huh. he's a singer, uh-huh. he's, I've known him for a very long time, he's starting to become well known. Uh-huh. He just announced he's having a baby. Uh-huh. I was shocked, I was like, bitch, what the fuck, yeah. like, I don't know how to feel about this, uh-huh. whatever. Then I, and he posted a picture with the person he's having a kid with, they didn't look familiar, but I looked, tapped, and I was like, tapped on the name, I was like, damn, that name looks familiar. Uh-huh. So I tapped on the name. Brought up the girl's profile, and it's the ex-girlfriend of a rapper that I know very well. No and way. these two people have toured together. 
Oh. And he went and got. No, no, you know his I mean? ex girlfriend pregnant. They've been sep. You know they did. You know it's been a, like a couple years. But um, still, something could have been happening during that time that they were on tour. Let's just say that <sighs> there's a possibility. Well, I, no, no, no. They weren't on tour oh. at the time that he was dating the girl. Like years before that. Okay. But I'm saying like they've. My point in bringing up they've been on tour together is like they've had a friendship. Yeah, they friendship. know each other. Yes. So I was just like real, I was taken back that he was even having a kid in general because like, yeah, I get everyone kept kids, but you know, you have this certain mentality of someone. Yeah, and you don't like, expect them to break that. <laughs> yeah, so it's like when people like do drugs and then they get clean and you look at them like, what the fuck, why are you off drugs? I thought you were going to be a, a drug addict for life, you know what I mean? I thought <laughs> so people horrible. were really committing to this lifestyle, and I know that's really No, but up. I get it. Yeah. yeah. I was just like, and I instantly went in uh texted my friend i was like i know but you i said i know you saw what the fuck i just saw on instagram (laughs) that's all the fuck i said she's like i know bitch i was shook like didn't even have to mention what the fuck it was because both of us was like bitch what what?" yeah messy that's all i'm gonna say it's just fucking messy and it was um i really hope you get tomorrow off so that we can record an episode at the party because i feel like that would be really fun dude that'd be all of us fucking drunk as shit and you'll hear a lot of people so let's we're putting that into the universe you're gonna get the day off tomorrow yes because there's going to be a lot of characters there tomorrow. <laughs> All and I got to say is I'm fucking scared. Nope. I'm on my best behavior. I got my baby. Um, I'm never on my best behavior. So. I just that. want Art to um, like be like, around other kids. kids yeah, yeah. And play. Especially because he's closer in age with the baby. So yeah. like I feel like that's cool. Because one is, one is one and the other is four. Yeah. And Art is a year and nine months. Oh, shit, he's almost two. Yeah. Wait, is he nine or eight months? He's fucking nine. He's eight, over 18 months. So whatever. The, I'm not a, I'm not one of those parents that tracks. He's 22 months old. 22 <laughs> months, three weeks, one hour, <laughs> yeah. five seconds. Like, I don't have time for that. So my baby's a year and a half. That's all you got to know. <laughs> so anyways, all right, guys. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Yes. Like, share, rate review leave a comment share with your friends share with your side bitches your main bitches you get the gist all right guys have a good life yes